Hello world, this is Dennis, KD9LVR, and I uh, got some general questions for the uh, ham radio community. I've uh, been uh, looking into uh, earthing, grounding, and uh, bonding for uh, for my ham radio setup, and um, admittedly, I'm, uh, I, I, I kind of got the general idea, but I need some clarification. Um, first, I'm going to post this vid. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video online and I'm also going to contact the members of uh, the Watertown Amateur Radio um, Amateur Radio Group, which I'm a member of, and see if there's anybody who's a member there who's got experience with this and maybe they can help me out. But uh, I'm kind of trying to, you know, maximize my chances of uh, getting the answers I need. Um, but uh, I know for, if I'm understanding correctly, for outside um there should be like a, a ground rod right where this coax comes in and it should be grounding it there if i understand correctly like i said i've been kind of going over the uh the material online from like the arrl and stuff like that and like so i'm getting a little bit confused um admittedly for my birthday i do plan on getting the uh the uh the grounding and earthing book or whatever it's called from the a double a double R L. Um, here, let me uh, turn this down real quick. Okay, so for inside the shack here, from from what I read, if I understand correctly, like on the back of the desk here, I should have like um, a copper. Um, I don't know if you call it like a plate or something like that, but basically attached to the to the back here. And then have all the equipment attached to that, and then have one like uh, copper ground wire going to, and that's where I'm not 100% sure what to do, because if I'm understanding correctly, you don't want a very long run of wire for the uh, for the uh, for the ground wire. Um, if I remember correctly, you want to keep that short, which uh, kind of throwing me for a loop here, because. Uh, from where my station is here in this finished room in the basement to the wall there is, um, let's say about, I'm trying to think here what that length of coax is I have running in here. It's about like 30 or 40 feet if I remember correctly. So obviously I don't think that would really work if I'm understanding correctly because that would be too long and basically my station would be ungrounded. Now I read something about basically having every, um, basically like running the coax and grounding and stuff here through um, um, where the uh, the uh, the power comes in here through the uh, the, um, the circuit box here where and grounding it or something. Like I said, I'm. Uh, I'm getting a little bit confused with all the details. Um, if I read it over again some more, a couple more times, I'll probably get a better understanding of this, but right now I'm a little bit, uh, <laughs> admittedly a little bit flustered and confused as to how I'm supposed to be doing this. Um, I have been, you know, like I said, given some material, but I'm just a little confused as to how to proceed with my setup here. Because the examples I've seen are, or, you know, the shack is, like, right next to a, a wall or the window where the, like, a grounding rod is. But, um, that's not going to work for me unless, um, I'm trying to think where this wall is compared to outside. Um, I think this is the front of the house facing towards the south, if I remember correctly. But, um, this is where the porch is, so overall this is a complicated situation and if anybody's got any suggestions or tips or reading material as to what to do i would greatly appreciate it uh thank you in advance uh this is kd9lvr dennis saying peace and all that good stuff and 73